Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for the opportunity to join you. And um, here I am to speak about um, digital impact on ship efficiency. Uh, the, um, the company, uh, I will do a, a small presentation of the company. So Techno Veritas uh, is um, um, an SME, a small uh, medium enterprise uh, with 26 years uh, of activity on ship efficiency, basically. So <clears throat> we have been working for more than 350 clients, uh, some international projects, and uh, we have been around the world uh, producing um, our own solutions and uh, helping in energy efficiency. In uh, 2012, we won uh, the Sea Trade Awards for clean shipping. So, um, and then uh, the company does also a number of, um, of other activities like uh, uh, fleet energy performance and emissions monitoring, condition monitoring. We have accredited uh, fuel lab uh, according to ISO uh, 17,025. And we are one of the um, MRV verifiers um, recognized by European uh, Safety Agency. Also, uh, we do quite a lot of work on uh, waste heat recovery and hydrogen as a marine fuel. We also um, produce uh, our own systems, our uh, shaft torque and thrust meter, so a uh, shaft power meter that is really uh, one of the unique measuring these two uh, variables. Uh, wireless, um, and also we, we produce a number of uh, small um, instruments to measure uh, efficiency of the of marine engines. So we have been um, around um, big data for quite a long time, and um, there is a big uh, question: What is big data? In fact, uh, what is big data saying? So, in fact, big data, it looks like a huge um, uh, iceberg uh, where we have most of the people have access only to one a small part, but the rest is underwater. So, typically, it is neglected by the organizations. So, um, one other point that um, I would like to, to stress uh, today is the fact that uh, most um, uh, most um, there is a buzzword around the world that is the digital uh, business and also the ship efficiency these are buzzwords and the thing is that uh, in fact um, digital business has uh, a previous presenter uh, introduced so uh, is becoming more and more um, reality so that um, um, uh, marine transportation cannot be immune to these changes, so it will be happening uh, in any case. Today, ship efficiency um, um, is a, a too wide um, concept. Uh, most of the, um, the stakeholders say that, um, or think that ship efficiency is only about the ship itself, but in fact has a lot of uh, things around the ship that influence the ship efficiency. And uh, efficiency uh, in, the, in terms of, um, in the holistic terms, and also in terms of uh, what um, may be um, understood by uh, financial people and investors, ship efficiency is the way how the ship is making money uh, and uh, making profit. So um, it becomes a little bit more wider. Uh, in terms of uh, environment, in terms of energy, in terms of operation, and uh, and finally, in terms of uh, uh, the production of um, uh, the asset. So ship efficiency, um, as I said, has been limited, but it is influenced by a number of externalities to the ship that in fact um, condition it the way uh, how the ship performs. But, one thing, it is um, uh, a fact. So um, ship efficiency is uh, today based on the information uh, and, and information flows. So uh, here is um, um, 
um, a schematic uh, by Lind et al. 2016. So SHIB, in fact, um, it is a small part of the thing uh, because it is just a little piece inside of the value chain. Okay, so we have ports, we, we have uh, agents, we have uh, authorities, we have so many things that influence the time the ship is staying in port or the speed of the ship to reach a certain port. So all these are factors that influence the emissions and also the, the fuel consumption. Uh, we can see that um, the power uh, for proportion is proportional to the speed of the vessel, to the cube. And um, this means that, um, 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 for example, just in time is one very good option to save emissions and to decrease the carbon footprint of uh, most of the merchandises uh, transported by, by sea. So, uh, digitalization is um, uh, vital to business um, and is shifting operational management and uh, concentrating, uh, giving some concentration management on focus of, or, or of the organization on their own ecosystems. Um, so a business ecosystem may be regarded as a dynamic network of entities that work together. They interact uh, with each other. So if one of these uh, um, entities is not um, interacting properly, then uh, um, at the end of the day, it will be um, uh, um, affecting the ship performance and the efficiency of the vessel, even in energy terms. Digital business is also is driven by business moments, uh, and business moments, moments and events are extremely fast. So we need to have um, information um, and, and good information. So um, on time, um, one other thing is uh, we can say that uh, most of the ship of the, the vessels types, they, they, they basically depend, their efficiency depends on duration of time, waiting time, uh, worse productivity, capacity utilization, predictability and punctuality. All these have a strong impact on ship efficiency. Uh, so sensing um, uh, the business moments uh, in, a, in a real time um, creates um, situational awareness. Um, and this is uh, something that is good, in fact. Um, real time situational awareness uh, allows the organizations uh, to act fast. Um, and um, although uh, the information needs to be correct and the information needs to be de de delivered to the right persons at the right time. So uh, correct and uh, optimized decision making is um, uh, requires a, a flow of information and knowledge. Okay. So the knowledge belongs to a number of individuals, normally inside of the organizations. And uh, it is a problem when this knowledge is um, based in one or two persons that uh, they may get sick, they may go for vacations, etc. Okay, so that analysis is and has been until now um, uh, an activity that depends very much on the people uh, knowledge. Thus, excellence uh, in event processing is essential to the success. So, uh, we don't need only to have, and this is a big difference of what I'm trying to say here. We need to have not only um, real-time uh, data, but also we need to have uh, the knowledge inside of this business, okay? And not be depending on the, a number of individuals. Um, this applies to ship processes, including port call processes, marine, uh, maritime logistic chain, etc. So, um, changing mindsets to get advantage of big data. Considering the data uh, uh, results from big data, so data or information is a little bit uh, is you take uh, big data has a big lemon. And um, if you squeeze it, then you have uh, information that is contained in the big data, okay? So 
big data mining and synthesis analysis of utmost importance um, uh, and to, to give uh, meaningful information to the people, okay? Then to, there is one other problem uh, that we have seen in many organizations that too much data or improperly treated data may transform uh, or not transform invaluable information may lead to very negative impacts, especially the people, individuals inside of the organizations will have a reduction of the credibility over the system. Okay, that's why uh, most companies that have uh, um, uh, data systems and treatment, uh, when the, the, the data analysts, they fail or um, uh, you see, the, the system gets a uh, uh, lack of credit. And then they come the, the old or uh, the people that does not like to the changes. And they say, in the past, we handled this much better, or I miss so much my Excel spreadsheet. Incredibly, there are a huge number of organizations still working with Excel spreadsheets. Okay, so what we are trying to offer is a different way and approach. Changing mindsets um, as the, the dog bird consults. So you need a dashboard, says the dog. You need a dashboard application to track your key metrics. Okay, so this is very important to track how the business is changing, how your assets are performing, how your crew is performing, what are their needs, how, what can you do to, to make it better. Okay, then uh, uh, treated value data to support decisions, okay? So data is not to be ignored uh, according to, uh, based on uh, company politics, okay? And usually people that are a little bit more, um, how to say, out of date, they, they just tend to neglect data and data information. Then data accuracy and information. Um, most of the CEOs, et cetera, and administration boards, they, oh, but data, uh, that is not absolutely accurate. Uh, using this, uh, we don't need really to, to have a, a, an accurate information of uh, containing that data, but we are, we should look at the trends, okay? So a trend does not need to be accurate um, as it is a trend. However, it contains valuable information on what in, uh, in in terms of forecast of events, okay? So this is the, the CEO that I was just um, uh, mentioning. So big data is um, a, a very involving term that describes a voluminous amount of structure or semi-structure or unstructured data that needs to be, um, how to say, purified to get the information out of it. Big data is not information. So be careful with this. So it doesn't need, it doesn't mean that you have lots of data that will get um, a good information out of it. Okay. So um, it is uh, required a tool to uh, do so. So big data is a sort of raw material that contains uh, a final product that is the good information. So it needs to be fast and accurate for decision making based on facts, intelligent operation of all productive system, involvement of all process of the company, in identification of business inefficiencies. This is very important. A study from Massachusetts Institute of Technology from the United States reports that companies uh, perform, that use big data and data analytics, they, they perform. Uh, between five to six uh, percent better each year. So this is quite a lot. Uh, so again, um, um, so as the organizations compete in the wild business uh, environment, we need to be, um, um, we need to be the first to know how the business is changing. Okay. So, um, and we, for that, we need to dig into our big data to extract uh, the information that is crucial for our business success. One other point is um, 
some of the companies they reach one point where they say okay this is okay we are not going to invest more we are happy we know some um, we have some reports so here is where most of the uh, our competitors are so we we are uh, proposing to increase and to become um, to make big data has a propellant to business um, I really like this um, this is was made by myself some some years ago and uh, um, so I call it the cube of ship generated data so we have so many entities involved changing information at the right time that we need to be uh, very um, to, to understand exactly the fluxes or flows of information between each other some uh, the information of somebody may not be interesting for the information of other people okay so um, each one in this cube needs only its own information for its own uh, activity inside of the organization so um, what do to do with big data so we need with big data and the information contained we need we may uh, know actual condition of your organization on time know better the competitors of your organization local performance monitoring and optimization condition based and predictive maintenance yes we are doing uh, vibration analysis through our system boeing delay um expensive maintenance so we do what is called um uh, condition based maintenance um predict failures very important uh, predict when the ship must be in dry dock to save fuel and not uh, exactly to uh, to accomplish with a calendar and also uh, technical data transfer so this is the typical um um, the typical um, superintendent of a ship the fellow has lots of uh, reports to read lots of invoices lots of uh, claims uh, data 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 and more data and uh, drinks a lot of coffee and uh, smokes a lot of, of uh, cigarettes yes it is uh, running against the time but imagine that this fellow is getting the data he needs he doesn't need to search for his data because the data for him is already prepared is delivered at any time he wishes at the and and the right time to the right person okay so imagine that this guy does not need to read all these reports all these things but has its own uh, customized report so most of the data is treated in non-effective way so and there is a limit for a person to 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 deal with such a, with amounts of data so the the fellow in fact uh, having too much data becomes unproductive for the company because he's he needs to, to read uh, all that stuff so the reasons uh, will compromise the success um, of uh, of his success and also the success of the company and the organization so um, typically the superintendents and other decision makers they receive information out of time out of context uh, without care or accuracy as there is always the human factor uh, in the middle results are not being delivered to the right persons okay so um, for example um, he's receiving the um, a report that is for another colleague or something like this so bohem blue overall efficiency monitoring is addressing all the above in a friendly and customizable uh, environment about bohem so this is basically uh, is a business assurance tool okay and uh, bohem uh, stands for blue overall energy monitoring so uh, Bohem is a cloud-based uh, toolbox platform uh, uh, working in one only environment uh, for ships and shipping activities but also for factories uh, Bohem objective is to become the real-time ship performance tool of reference for the most demanding vessels such as passenger vessels and naval vessels 
we have also container ships uh, in our um, as our clients, but uh, we became specialized in passenger and uh, naval vessels. Boem is a platform covering most of the demanding vessels needs and in a customizable uh, platform. So you don't need to have a frame like uh, SAP or whatever. So in fact, we can even to interface with SAP uh, files, so uh, metadata, uh, and treat this data for you in a very friendly way. Boem uh, uh, logs to big data, performs its analysis, delivering the information on time to the right persons. These are, um, are some of the ships that we are monitoring. They are brand new, uh, high luxury uh, passenger vessels for uh, Antarctica. So they are icebreakers. Uh, this, in fact, they are luxurious vessels and we are um, um, we are, no, we are addressing the problems of these vessels operating remotely, like in Antarctica, but uh, by uh, delivering this software, deploying this software on board the ships and also ashore. So people ashore may know exactly everything that is going on and also deliver support to the, to the crews as well as for warships, okay? So these are very demanding here with encrypted uh, information. So we really, we have really, um, uh, we are proud of it. Also, uh, the first, um, um, the first um, version of BOEM called VEO received the ABS uh, design assessment and um, uh, type approval and also is being recognized by NATO. Um, these are some recommendations letters from the navies. We, look, we work for the Portuguese Navy, for the Malta Navy, for the Indian Navy, um, and uh, also for the uh, Greek Navy. So accumulated experience in using VEO Boeing. Okay, so how friendly it is. In fact, uh, it is a platform, as you can see. It is a website, so you can assess your ships uh, from anywhere you have uh, a point of internet access. And uh, the organization is um, uh, typically as uh, a tree with uh, their branches. One interesting fact is that um, uh, Bowen uh, may be um, um, deployed um, according to what the uh, crew understanding is of his ship. Okay, so in fact, uh, we can we can divide uh, the whole ship. So here at, uh, we can uh, assess the ship that we want. Then uh, the ship is divided into deck department, um, hotel department, and also on um, uh, engines department, and so on and so forth. Uh, so it is uh, really um, easy to use. This, uh, as I said, is a toolbox that I can uh, show to you here. These are the tools on top. Um, we have also um, uh, the approval for um, maintenance management. Okay, so. Uh, we have the technical management that deals with the documentation of engines, uh, ship technical benchmark performance monitoring, condition monitoring, performance prediction, ship bunkering, waste management, uh, condition prediction, and also video surveillance, if you like. Then we have the voyage optimization with weather routing, profits, voyage profit forecast, documentation, ship commercial benchmark and port operation. Then maintenance management uh, with KPIs, alerts, uh, task libraries, so history predictive maintenance as well. And here we are um, also um, having the QR code to identification of uh, equipments, etc. 
uh, reports and documents. Uh, this is very interesting because uh, this tool uh, is um, alerting the people uh, from the ship management when certificates are getting out of date. So it is warning them uh, periodically. Um, ISM manuals, uh, management uh, manuals uh, and certificates. And then crew management uh, for documentation of crew members, IDs, uh, assets, uh, assign tasks to different users. So this may be used in the whole ship or uh, in the department. Then we have the purchasing. These are new modules uh, and the budgeting, very interesting also for uh, for ship budget management, dry dock budget, um, uh, engines and uh, deck department uh, budgeting. The AVO, internal ticket man uh, management, uh, this is quite interesting is um, uh, for very fast um, uh, corrective actions. And the purchasing that is um, uh, manage your purchasing processes, um, uh, send requests for quotes uh, to several suppliers. So all these in, is inside, all these are uh, tools that are inside of a box called uh, BOEM. Um, has been, um, it's not a standard uh, software, so this is um, as innovative is an innovative software, as it covers many things in many different aspects. Has been developed based on ship and shipping companies' requirements and suggestions. So we have been learning with the requests of our clients. Okay, uh, it is a cloud-based software as a service, although data is stored on board the ship and also ashore. Okay, so we do not keep data for us. Um, uh, has a learning capacity uh, because of the people that uh, may may not be there one day in their um, uh, working place. So uh, artificial intelligence is used to have uh, decision-making uh, algorithms so that they can uh, learn procedures. Uses mathematical um, algorithms to forecast events in the future can be assessed by anywhere, generates customized reports for particular users. Uh, it is very easy to, to work with. Two hours of training is, um, uh, has been the sufficient for people to start working with it. Uh, it is a collaborative tool. Um, we may, including, uh, see cylinder pressure diagrams uh, shared with the technical staff ashore allows the customer to define KPIs um, for efficiency monitoring and has a support 24 over 365 days a year. Uh, we have a number of, um, of um, uh, customized um, dashboards, as you can see. Uh, it is um, um, on the engines menu, you may see generators, you may see main engines, etc very intuitive. It is the organization that is in, inside of the head of each person. Uh, we can do also performance monitoring and also condition monitoring, like, for example, main engine cylinder diagrams. We can also, using this voyage optimization, to take advantage of winds, etc., but also to estimate uh, the, the, the profit of a voyage of a certain leg according to a certain route. So we can simulate routes here with the, according to the weather forecast up to four days. Um, and uh, also um, it allows, uh, this, this model is um, uh, updated um, according to the, um, to the specific fuel oil consumption of the vessel. Uh, so the system is learning how the vessel is performing in terms of fuel consumption and according to uh, car load conditions and weather conditions. So the commercial voyage, all these uh, are outputs that you can uh, have. Um, um, reports and documents, everything is really uh, tidy, um, um, how to say, file. So you can access um, reports uh, historically, etc. It is available. Uh, on your mobile phone.
right information, right person, right time. Uh, the system has on board um, uh, a computer, so we, we had to develop a system to operate uh, in the in the in the Antarctica, uh, where the internet access to satellite was not easy. So there is uh, we developed a, a solution. And how to implement BOEM? We need to select exactly which systems, which variables, and which conditions. Then we collect from where and the frequency uh, of acquisition, the process uh, to valorize, calculate and filter, exploit, identification, interpretation, comparison, uh, distribution and proofing, predict, forecast and evaluation, and anticipate pro-action and evaluation. So time is getting short. So key variables are the ones that affect the ship performance so we need to select a minimum of them how to uh, how is the variation of these uh, variables affecting ship performance monitoring conditions which are the variables allowable range um, uh, definition of alarms and how to interpret the variations of alarms source of knowledge skilled people so expert system that is built there okay so this is a business assurance uh, tool. Um, and um, for example, here we can see the specific fuel oil consumption modeling. Uh, so uh, we have uh, um, uh, data that uh, define this, uh, this specific fuel oil consumption model has a, a function of power. We know exactly how the ship is performing. Um, and here we can see also the filtering and the alarms. So this, this here is the, full, the consumption of the main engine. Uh, and we have one alarm there to see. Um, and finally, uh, we, have, uh, we, we may also analyze uh, cylinder pressure uh, and diagrams for the, from the engines on ashore uh, in real time. Uh, together with the people on board when they need some help. Okay, this is um, um, uh, a film that is available. And thank you very much for your attention. Hope this has been um, something new. Thank you. Okay, so we are really, really running out of time. So I will just read the one question that we received from Peter and I will let you go. Uh, the question is the following. With reference to predictive maintenance, are you using online sensors uh, to monitor lubricating oil condition or using shore-based used oil analysis labs? Okay. Um, uh, so we are using uh, online uh, sensors on board. Uh, and also um, the people on board can send uh, through um, to, to us the, the, the files for analysis if they need it. Uh, so the idea is to have a collaborative, uh, and this, this is a novelty. So um, we are monitoring vibration on big alternators, for example, uh, on board uh, passenger vessels. Um, and uh, then uh, it appears on, on, on BOEM for everybody to see um, uh, how the thing, uh, how, how it is the condition and also we perform um, spectral analysis for that. Great, uh, thanks a lot. Thank you for a very extensive and informative presentation. Thank you for being with us today. If anyone has further questions uh, for Technical Veritas, uh, feel free to contact uh, George and his team. You have their contact details on their final slide. And now we are moving on to the next presenter of the day. Thank you so Thank much, you. George. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, everyone.